It's a title fight in Las Vegas. Dan Tom here to help you break down the main event for UFC Noche between Alexa Grasso and Valentina Shevchenko 2. Dos. Of course, this is a rematch from a battle earlier this year where Grasso got the jump on Shevchenko, not just by the fourth round submission, but in the previous rounds by switching things up with the southpaw stance. What will the inherent natural southpaw and Shevchenko do in the rematch? Well, she's one and one in those beating Liz Carmouche in the rematch, of course, losing a closely contested decision to Amanda Nunes. Well, she's going to have a chance you know, to make the third time the charm, if you will, this Saturday. The time of this video, the odds makers and the public are favoring the former champ, now challenger in Shevchenko, in the neighborhood of minus 180 with the comeback on the underdog, your champion Grasso, in the neighborhood of plus 140. Now, those odds don't surprise me. They should be tighter. We shouldn't be floating Ronda Rousey odds, you know, so widely, so, you know, so uh, fluidly, if you will. I mean, haven't we learned our lessons? Well, the bookmakers seem to have in this case. Now, do they have the right person favored? Uh, I would think so. I, I suspected Shevchenko would be favored despite losing. You could argue she was up two rounds to one. I personally picked her to win by crucifix position, TKO round two, and that looked like it was going to be the case. However, Grasso is good enough to survive improving her jujitsu. We know she's durable on the feet. We know she can go the five rounds. So perhaps, for lack of a better word, could she be an annoying stylistic matchup for Chevchenko, who likes to really control things, keep it at her pace, intimidate her opposition, and so forth. But she can't do that. She doesn't have the physicality, which she does in this match, but maybe doesn't have the tenacity, the numbers, and that kind of gumption that, you know, Shevchenko was not showing when she had another fighter, kind of like her sister, who her longtime training partner, also in a southpaw stance, seemed to not have a lot of answers there. I'm going to look for Shevchenko to use a lot of leg kicks and go for some takedowns, but if she can't get a finish on the ground, I suspect that those failed grappling attempts won't score her very high in the criteria in the judge's eyes, which leaves this for kind of a topsy-turvy decision that's going to be closely contested. I'm going to side with the volume and striking impact and just perhaps numbers and aggression of Grasso here to kind of narrowly take a decision. It's not a confident one, but I do feel like this fight probably goes along with more of a conservative approach from Shevchenko. Give me Grasso by decision, but for more on both fighters' games as well as results on the weekend, keep it locked to MMAJunkie.com.